Lisa Vanderpump has always loved showing off her stunning customized mansion in Beverly Hills, Villa Rosa, which she calls one of her favorite places in the world. Reportedly, Lisa's recently stacked this estate with a massive $19 million mortgage, and rumors are abound that the reality star may sell and move to Las Vegas, where she owns some flourishing businesses. None of this has been confirmed though, and it's hard to believe that Lisa would ever want to part with Villa Rosa, where she has over 8,000 square feet of space, a kitchen that was upgraded to the tune of $300,000, floor to ceiling windows, room for all of her adorable pets, and much more. Aside from this property, Lisa further owns a luxury estate in France where she's filming her new upcoming Hulu reality series, Vanderpump Villa. And she and her husband used to own another massive Los Angeles home, which they sold back in 2011. In 2011, Lisa Vanderpump and her husband, Ken, purchased their current mansion for $10.2 million, dubbed Villa Rose. At the time of purchase, the property wasn't decked out in the signature Vanderpump style just yet. And when compared to the home the couple owned previously, it was actually a significant downsize. However, Villa Rosa spans an impressive 8,800 square feet of space with five beds and eight baths throughout, and is located in Beverly Hills, less than a mile away from Lisa's former neighborhood. This gated and extremely private villa is full of generously sized living and dining areas, perfect for Lisa to entertain and host guests, as well as floor to ceiling windows with upscale views. Lisa said about her dream home in the past, every morning I wake up and look over the incredibly lush and isolated valley below my windows, and I can't help feeling happy, humbled, and grateful. In more recent news, reportedly, Lisa has stacked this estate with a massive $19 million mortgage, and rumors are abound that the reality star may sell and move to Las Vegas, where she owns some flourishing businesses. Since purchasing Villa Rosa years ago, she placed three large home loans on the property. In 2015, the Vanderpumps took out a loan for over six dollars $0.2 million with the Bank of California, and in 2017, they took out another mortgage for $6.35 million with JP Morgan Chase Bank. Finally, in 2019, another one for the same amount was taken out with a different bank. In total, this huge sum of money, totaling nearly $19 million, is almost $7 million more than what Lisa and her husband paid for the property in the first place. Fans are getting ideas that they have secretly sold the place in an off-market deal to move to Las Vegas, and while it was speculated by podcaster Ryan Bailey, it's just rumors at this point. When Lisa was moving into Villa Rosa, it was already modern and up to date, but she wanted to customize it to her specific taste. And before photos at the time of purchase, interiors were impressive, but not nearly as nice as they are now. After customizing the mansion, there were bonuses added throughout, like the family logo printed on the floor of the entryway. While the interior design is fun and glamorous, more in tune with the Vanderpump style. Lisa even described her mansion's palette saying, people think that I like pink and yes, my bedroom is a little bit pink, but for the most part, it's a neutral palette with roses and flowers and accents. There's a mix of hardwood floor and marble along with the shades of pink, while every bathroom holds fresh pink flowers and elegant shades lounges. In fact, all of the real flowers in her house is why it smells so good. The glitzy former living room has a boudoir portrait of Marilyn Monroe hanging over a fireplace, and elsewhere there's a dining room with mirrored table and glittery chandelier. One really unique room in Lisa's mansion is her two-level library, paneled in ebony wood with a second-level gallery. The the library also has dramatic and tall glass doors which look out to a view over the canyons. Other features in the Vanderpump residence include a wine cellar, a cozy media room, and an indoor-outdoor dining room with chrome-lined fireplace and two more chandeliers. Lisa also recently renovated her kitchen where she loves to cook, brightening up the space and forking out 300 k in the process. She told Bravo, my new kitchen is off the hook, I hated the other kitchen, it was dark, and I felt a little depressed in there, so we ripped that out and have this white, silver, sparkling kitchen with beautiful chandeliers. It's just fabulous. Upstairs, the master suite encompasses a spacious bedroom with sitting area, fireplace, and his and her bathrooms. 
Lisa's amazing dressing room is lined with mirrored wardrobes and features a vanity and an island with storage in the middle. In fact, her closet is bigger than some apartments. It even looks like an upscale boutique with all of her designer bags and accessories. Villa Rosa also includes a detached garage with guest and staff quarters, a foolproof security system, and plenty of covered patios to entertain guests. Lisa's amazing backyard has an infinity pool that overlooks Beverly Hills, and the grounds are decorated with bright flowers, tables with pink umbrellas, and a pink stable for her ponies. If that's not enough, there's a moat surrounding the mansion full of pet swans. Lisa is a well-known animal lover and activist and has pets in abundance at Villa Rosa, including about seven dogs, many horses, chickens, swans, and turtles. She loves animal rescue and she even drove over 500 miles in order to bring one of her dogs home with her. One thing that speculated Lisa moving to Las Vegas was that she decided not to renew the lease on her West Hollywood located Pump Restaurant Lounge, which will close after a decade of business due to the lease prices going up too much and being too expensive. But on the other hand, Lisa has two successful spots in Las Vegas, Vanderpump Cocktail Garden and Vanderpump at Paris. However, considering how much Lisa adores her Beverly Hills home and because there's no other evidence to suggest they're moving, it isn't likely that they're selling this place. We do know that before any rumored move to Vegas, it's been announced that Lisa will be jetting off to France in a new reality show, Vanderpump Villa, taking place at her luxury French estate. While we don't know Know much about Lisa's home in France yet, she did reveal that 10 episodes were ordered of the new reality series which will air on Hulu. The show will supposedly follow the villa's staff members as they live and work together at the Vanderpump's European estate and offer a glimpse into their lives. Premier date hasn't been set for this series, but we do know Vanderpump will be the executive producer behind the show alongside Bun and Murray production. Before Lisa's main estate, Villa Rosa, she and her husband had an even larger home in LA. Lisa and Ken and decided to downsize their home to their current one after their children moved out and their former home was located in the exclusive guard-gated neighborhood of Beverly Park. So let's look at this spot before wrapping up this video. This was a French chateau style mega mansion they bought for $14 million back in 2004, sitting on over two acres of land. But once the couple's children moved on, Lisa said it was just too big for the two of them. The Titanic home was featured in all its glitz and glamour on the first two seasons of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And it spanned over 15,000 square feet with seven beds and 10 baths. The home was built in 1996 and notable features throughout were lush gardens and fountains outside, a huge tennis court and a swimming pool. Like Villa Rosa, Lisa decked this mansion's interiors out in her favorite colors, like white with lots of pink touches and the entryway had soaring ceilings with a curved staircase. Surrounding this space, there were plenty of formal rooms to entertain in with a romantic color palette. This included the living room with piano, white fireplace and chandelier, while the kitchen featured a spacious and sunny breakfast nook. The more casual family room boasts a TV and another fireplace while other rooms included a wine cellar with dining table, his and hers offices, and an all black and moody hued games room. Moving to the master suite and bathroom, it was much brighter, with a lot of baby pink, just like you'd expect of Lisa, with an ensuite offering a similar color scheme. Other spaces at the mega mansion fans might recognize from Real Housewives includes the grounds, which were surrounded by a very very tall hedge and boasted shaded patios, balconies with plants, bright green lawns with paths throughout, and more. Not to mention there was a gazebo and that oversized swimming pool and spa. Lisa and Ken let go of this mansion in 2011 for a sky-high price of $19 million, moving on to their current abode. After taking a look at Lisa Vanderpump's homes, including Villa Rosa, that's going to bring this tour to an end. Before we go, answer this question for me. If you could have any animals on your property as pets, which would you be choosing? Let me know in the comments down below. It's honestly so hard for me to pick. I'd want like one of everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned, because next, we're gonna look at the homes of Ariana Maddox. Bye. They might be freshly on the outs right now, but back in 2019, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval agreed on one thing when it came to purchasing their soon-to-be Los Angeles love pad. 
place needed to have a wow factor. These former West Hollywood bartenders turned veteran reality TV stars decided to wisely save up their money following pairing off with one another while starring in the popular Bravo series Vanderpump Rules. In fact, this former duo saved so much so fast they were able to shell out just over $2 million for a newly built family-sized farmhouse style residence situated in the increasingly pricey neighborhood of Valley Village. Boasting five bedrooms as well as five and a half baths, this 4,453 square foot home offered its new owners plenty of room to share with their famously hard partying castmates and co-workers from the popular West Hollywood eatery, Sir. Set into a shallow porch located next to a two-car garage, the front door to Ariana's home boasts a rib glass accented front door that opens directly into an open concept living and dining room boasting 10 foot tall ceilings, honey colored wide plank wood floors, a petite fireplace, and an accent wall that was originally painted in a dark shade of charcoal. As for their kitchen, it was designed with a kosher diet in mind, which means it boasts three sinks, two dishwashers, and two ovens, alongside a marble-topped center island snack bar. On the opposite side of the setting is a family room with stacked stone fireplace situated between some built-in open shelves. Meanwhile, a 16 foot wide bank of floor to ceiling glass sliders slip into the nearby wall to merge the expansive space with the backyard. In addition, there's also a small office as well as an ensuite guest bedroom located on the main floor. The rest of the bedrooms and private bathrooms that boast snazzy custom tile all live on the top floor, along with the master suite. This is made up of a spacious bedroom with a fireplace, a lavish marble bathroom boasting a hair and makeup vanity, as well as two fitted walk-in closets, perfect for a couple that no doubt considered themselves to be the definition of fashionable. Completing the picture is a partly trellis-covered gray stone patio that stretches across the full width of the back of the house, while overlooking a flat, grassy, private yard with a built-in grilling station and a swimming pool. After moving into their home in 2019, about two years later, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval graciously invited People Magazine inside for an exclusive look at their newly decorated masterpiece where they managed to incorporate both of their opposing styles with a little bit of help. Tom told BravoTV.com, I feel like normally when it comes to decor in a house with a guy and a girl, it can be very like, okay, the girl just kind of does everything. The guy is like, I just added this one thing. But we obviously both have very strong personalities. You see a nice mix of Ariana and myself in there. To bring their vision of a serene paradise to life, Ariana and Tom teamed up with interior designers Lucy Cinda Pace and Andrew Panzer of Concept XL, as well as exterior designer Elizabeth Montgomery of Box Hill. After discussing plans with both homeowners, the designers quickly figured out that Tom's style is a lot swankier and in desperate need of that wow factor. Meanwhile, Ariana's taste is a bit more subtle, with her gravitating towards an organic, eclectic vibe. That isn't to say these two couldn't find anything to agree on, and a few eye-catching items sprinkled throughout their home became common. Common ground. For instance, the couple owns a giant Timothy Olton mirror that has crystals that go all around it, giving the effect of an infinity mirror. Both Ariana and Tom love to stare into its never-ending glossy abyss. The couple also bonded over replacing their former light fixture over the dining room table with what appears to be a giant piece of chain link instead. They even installed some unusual snake curtains in here as well. Turns out Ariana is a big fan of the kind of drawings of plants and animals that appear in encyclopedias. To her, those curtains embody that. She explained to people, this fabric was like a combination of that nature drawing look with almost a Gucci feel. It was really hard to get this fabric and then we had to have someone make it into curtains for us. It took forever, but there was nothing that compared to it. Well, to complete the look, the couple had to settle on which table best served the space. Tom had an out of right field type idea, but Ariana wound up getting her way with a restoration hardware table that provided a minimalist counterpoint to what's otherwise a house leaning towards being maximalist. They're also happy with their choice of breakfast table, buying an oval shaped one that's been paired with black and gold chairs. 
But for decor, Tom chose to display a series of bizarre items, including a cannibal fork, an emu egg, penis flutes, and a saber-toothed cat skull that Ariana was not a fan of. As they bickered with one another, another unexpected item of Tom's drove Ariana crazy more than any other, a painting of actor James Earl Jones. Yes, the man who provides the voice of Darth Vader in Star Wars. At the very least, these two both appear to love their bedroom, the one space in the entire house where Ariana says she spends the most of her time, and who can blame her? It features a custom-made latte bar equipped with an espresso machine and milk frother that Tom would put to work every morning to make coffee for Ariana. As another little treat, Tom also came up with the idea to provide more closet space for them by knocking down a wall between their their bedroom's closet and the separate linen closet to create the ultimate dream wardrobe. Once they had their house looking the way they wanted it, Ariana and Tom planned on inserting a few more additions, including more plants and a bar hidden behind a moving bookcase. Tom described this idea to people, telling them, you'll pull a book and it'll open up. Then the bar will feel like you left and went to a different place. They also drew up plans for a gate and exterior entrance door, but before they could complete any of that, everything fell apart instead. Ariana Maddox and her partner Tom split apart four years after moving in together, following his secret affair with their fellow co-star Raquel Levis. Tom and Raquel were allegedly planning on telling Ariana the truth for weeks about their months long affair, but instead, the heartbroken reality star found out on her own by snooping through Tom's phone. Once she discovered what he had been keeping from her, the pair split. But, and this is a big but, but they're still living together and sharing the same house, even though tensions between the two remain thick. Tom spoke about what was going on in his personal life during an episode of Howie Mandel Does Stuff. During the course of that podcast, he revealed he's still living with Ariana because he can't afford to move out and doesn't have any friends he can stay with right now. Taking into consideration the fact that it's a pretty big house, Tom doesn't see a problem with this arrangement. The former couple has also enlisted an mediator as a go-between. The former couple also enlisted a mediator as a go-between to use when they want to communicate with one another. That being said, many of Ariana's friends aren't thrilled with this turn of events and want to see Tom vacate the premises immediately. Former Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Dutz even tried to create space between the two of them, but Tom was adamant about staying in the home. Bottom line, these two both share ownership of the house, which means what happens next with the property is bound to take some time to sort out. But hey, at least we'll get a taste of what's going on behind closed doors when footage from this nasty breakup finally hits our TV screens during season 10 of Vanderpump Rules, which is airing right now. In the meantime, Ariana and Tom are going to have to continue surviving some very awkward moments. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching. And before you head off, do me a favor and answer this question. What's the maximum amount of time you could live under one roof with a partner you just separated from? Let me know if you could even last a week in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name's Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you'd like to check out a few more homes today, then keep watching.